Hello everyone, my name is Devashish and I welcome you all to this video. So in the last video, we have seen how you can actually collect a known good and known bad data set for our machine learning model using a web application vulnerability scanner. So uh, this is uh, the two things that we have collected in the last video. Uh, known good data set that is actually basically a crawling uh, log and known bad data set is automated SQL, in SQL injection requests. Uh, so now in this uh, video we are going to learn how can we actually automate several you know uh, machine learning and uh, machine learning stuffs using a python library called pycaret so before we do that as we actually collected uh, all this data set in the previous video uh, we have uh, actually i have already combined this known good and known bad data set into one csv file uh, as you can see this file is having both good and bad uh, you know uh, http request uh, so before we actually uh, you know go ahead with this I'll quickly you know do some sorting uh, it's not necessarily uh, not necessary I'm just you know uh, do it by path should be fine yeah uh, let's keep it like this okay uh, let's save it uh, the final file name is bad.csp itself so what I'm going to do now uh, I'm going to rename uh, bad.csv as all.csv, all data.csv. So now we have all the data in uh, all the you know uh, data for training purpose in uh, all.csv file, and now let's uh, you know um, try to understand the Python module, machine learning module that we are going to use for automating stuff. So the module that we are going to use is pycaret uh, pycaret is you know a very popular module which is actually which is going to make you very lazy because you know it uh, you know it automates a lot um, automates almost all the you know machine learning uh, machine learning work that you have to do uh, for you know training and testing uh, so training and testing your model uh, so as you can see it says that you know uh, pycaret.org is the main site and it says PyCaret is an open source low code machine learning library in Python that allows you to go from preparing your own data to deploying your model within a minute in your choice of notebook environment. Uh, so this is the library that we are going to use. Uh, th so how do we install PyCaret? So although this is not uh, th in the scope of this video, still I'll quickly explain. Uh, so this is the, you know, all the uh, steps that is given here uh, so basically i use anaconda for my machine learning experiments uh, so this is how the anaconda interface looks like anaconda navigator I, once you install anaconda navigator you will get something like this uh, yeah it's actually you know running a lot of background scripts so that's why you are getting that you know command from pop-ups so this is the uh, okay uh, so uh, this is how the anaconda navigator looks like uh, as you can see uh, I have created a uh, environment for pycaret uh, so I uh, highly recommend you to do that uh, you know uh, you can just if you are not really familiar with you know how to create environment in anaconda and install pycaret uh, you can simply google it you are going to get a lot of resources so I am just switching to uh, the pycaret uh, environment now and in under pycaret i uh, have this jupyter notebook installed uh, so since i have already installed it it is uh, showing me the launch option if it is not installed you are going to see something like this you just need to click on install and it's everything is automated just you know click on install and you know have fun uh, so pycaret installation is very easy uh, once you create the environment you need to you know follow the steps pip install um, yeah pip install pycaret and it is going to install all the necessary things into that this particular environment so environment uh, creation is required because it should not you know mess your other uh, libraries that is within python because it, it actually literally uh, takes a lot of time to install it and it's pretty heavy uh, so Jupyter Netbook, if you are already familiar with ML, uh, done some experiment, you must be familiar with that. So once you click on Jupyter Notebook, um, it actually, you know, uh, gives you this. And this is how you create a new notebook. Uh, you go to file, uh, just a second. 
new python 3 and this is our new notebook let's call it as you know uh, ml based web app firewall rename and this is how uh, this you should get actually pycarrot over here how to test it uh, just you know I'll you know run some sample code uh, go to function model training uh, create model so if you just execute this uh, just press shift enter uh, which means if you are not getting error which means it is successfully you know mm, PyCarrot is installed uh, so now let's come to our you know uh, the, our actual problem as I have already explained uh, I am going to uh, use some clustering uh, module of PyCarrot to do some data clustering uh, so basically uh, I'll create two cluster mm, uh, just a second I'll open this particular image so that you know it is easier uh, if you have watched the part three of this particular video series, you might have, you know, you uh, you are already familiar with this one. Uh, so this is the two clusters that I have explained about. So in this uh, case also, uh, this was actually 2D graph, but uh, in uh, since the IPS is not not a very simple, uh, you know, thing to build, it's not going to be a 2D graph. Uh, so we are going to plot these points in a you know multi-dimensional graph and we will actually build two clusters uh, so the plots will be based on the features that we have extracted uh, what, what all features this is uh, these are the data uh, uh, points uh, that actually we have collected that is in the you know all data.csv that will be used for training uh, so yeah where we were hmm. Yeah, so this is the, uh, this is, uh, you know, we are going to prepare uh, two or uh, we are going to prepare few clusters so that actually, you know, we can, um, we can actually, you know, uh, distinguish uh, whether any HTTP request is bad or not. So, uh, PyCarrot actually supports several, you know, clustering algorithms. Uh, so, this is what you have to do. You have to go to, you know, function, model training, create model and after that there are multiple options classification regression clustering anomaly detection etc et so you have to click on clustering uh, so clustering actually you know it supports a uh, few uh, clustering algorithm uh, which is uh, which are actually k means and k modes uh, so uh, i won't be explaining you know much details about uh, k means and k modes uh, I, that is also not really necessary to know uh, you know just to you know do this particular problem but i would you know highly recommend you to you know uh, learn some basic about about you know k-means clustering uh, so i'll actually cover that you know some of the basics of k-means uh, later on uh, when we actually fine tune fine tune our model uh, so that is actually required that time but for now i'll just you know simply uh, you know copy paste some of this code uh, from this particular you know page and i'll show you how easy it is to use pycarrot library to automate your machine learning uh, machine learning you know uh, machine learning stuffs using pycarrot so uh, this is uh, actually you know uh, we are going to use k-means uh, for this particular problem for clustering and once we have actually this cluster uh, we will actually you know uh, you we will actually you know use some test data to find out uh, the test data in which cluster this test data uh, points are falling and based on that we are going to detect uh, whether any HTTP request is bad or not so this is uh, if you have not actually understand understood it clearly uh, that is not uh, that you should not worry about that i am going to explain this concepts uh, in the later videos uh, so uh, so that's it uh, if you have not already configured pycarrot and jupiter i would request you to do that and i highly recommend you use anaconda uh, this is actually you know this is very easy uh, once uh, Mm, this is a very easy one time you know thing that you have to do uh, so please do that and that's all i wanted to discuss in today's video uh, i'll see you in the next video bye bye